Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Stephanie Kwolek. Stephanie Louise Kwolek, July 31, 1923 to June 18, 2014, was an American chemist who worked at the DuPont Company for over 40 years and is best known for inventing the first of a family of synthetic fibers of exceptional strength and stiffness, polyparaphenylene terephthalamide, better known as Kevlar. For her discovery, Quillac was awarded the DuPont Company's Lavoisier Medal for Outstanding Technical Achievement. As of February 2015, she was the only female employee to have received that honor. In 1946, Quillac earned a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in chemistry from Margaret Morrison Carnegie College of Carnegie Mellon University. She had planned to become a doctor and hoped she could earn enough money from a temporary job in a chemistry related field to attend medical school. Later that year, Hale Charch, a future mentor to Quillac, offered her a position at DuPont's Buffalo, New York, facility, an opportunity available to her because of the number of men that were overseas at the time for World War II. While Quillac initially only intended to work for DuPont temporarily, she found the work interesting and decided to stay rather than pursuing a medical career, and moved to Wilmington, Delaware in 1950 to continue to work for DuPont. In 1959, she won a publication award from the American Chemical Society, ACS, the first of many awards she was to receive. The paper, The Nylon Rope Trick, demonstrated a way of producing nylon in a beaker at room temperature. It is still the basis of a common classroom experiment. In anticipation of a gasoline shortage, Quillex Group began searching for a lightweight yet strong fiber to be used in tires. A polymer she had been working with at the time, polypephenylene terephthalate and polybenzamide, formed liquid crystal while in solution that had to be melt spun at over 200 degrees Celsius, which produced weaker and less stiff fibers. A unique technique in her new projects in the melt condensation polymerization process was to reduce those temperatures to between 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. The resulting fiber, later to be named Kevlar, was five times stronger than steel by weight. Both her supervisor and the laboratory director understood the significance of her discovery and a new field of polymer chemistry quickly arose. By 1971, modern Kevlar was introduced. Quillac learned that the fibers could be made even stronger by heat treating them. The polymer molecules, shaped like rods or matchsticks, are highly oriented, which gives Kevlar its extraordinary strength. In 1995 Quillac became the fourth woman to be added to the National Inventors Hall of Fame. She won numerous awards for her work in polymer chemistry including the National Medal of Technology, the Erie Achievement Award, and the Perkin Medal. After she retired she became heavily involved in trying to introduce young children, specifically girls, to scientific fields. Quillac died at the age of 90 on June 18, 2014. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Stephanie Quillac. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.